Hello everyone, um, this is me, Sonia. Um, it's 11 o'clock in Dublin, in my apartment. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for your likes and for very kind words you're saying in my posts. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. Um, the story yesterday was that I was trying to take some uh, photos of me holding this banner uh, in front of Victoria's Secret shop on Grafton Street. Um, I brought a DSLR camera with me on the uh, tripod and there was this um, guy, uh, let's call him back, and he came over and he stood in front of the camera so I couldn't take photos and I tell him to move away because I want to take photos and he started asking me um, what do I have down there and I told him to piss off and he kept uh, harassing me and I say piss off and he eventually says to me that he would hit me but he wouldn't do that because I look like a girl and he doesn't beat girls cute isn't it eventually he left and I was left with my camera I could took, take a few, few photos and then it started raining, so I thought like oh, people are standing in front of Victoria's Secret. There was like this, um, you know, in front of the entrance, there is this kind of thing that we can hide from the rain. So I went there, but the security guy says to me, you cannot stand there because it's a private property. And I tell him, but it is a public space and other people are standing here. And he says, but you have this poster and it's bad for children and whatsoever. And I tell him, all right, all right. And, you know, explaining him that being transgender, it's nothing wrong for, like, for children should know what transgender mean and so on. And besides that, come on, behind him there was a big screen with Victoria's Secret model uh, in lingerie for bedroom and that's probably appropriate for children I would say, right? Eventually he called her his manager and she came over and we had discussion and she also said something about children and I was laughing of her like saying come on what are you talking about the girl and you know eventually I said that I made my point and that I will go back, uh, leave my poster in the car and I will come back as a customer to buy some clothes for myself because I really like the shop and I said I expect to be treated with respect and she said to me that of course uh, I will be treated with uh, respect and will be served properly when I came back, indeed, everyone was nice to me even the security guy was uh, bowing his head, saying like hi, and I was treated like a queen, which was very, very nice. Everyone was like super, super nice to me. Um, I went upstairs when they had uh, the like comfy, comfy brass, because I was actually looking for smaller sizes, you know. I just started hormones. And my breasts aren't that big. And I thought Victoria's Secret might actually have a proper bra because we all know that Victoria's Secret likes small everything, right? So I thought, okay, probably they have something for my tiny breasts. And I went uh, upstairs and I got served. I got a few deals down up there. And I got uh, perfumes and body lotion and things like that. And um, there was this guy who was helping with all this, explaining me everything. I went to the fitting room, I charized this all stuff and so on. I was very, very happy and so on, so on, so on. So as you see, the whole story ended up very nicely. And I went back home with a huge pack of shopping. More than I actually intended to buy because I was thinking maybe two pairs, two, two pairs of bra. Um, but I had like eventually four pairs of bra, five, five, five pairs of tongues, uh, perfumes, uh, body lotion. I don't know why did I buy it, but I was so uh, happy down there that, well, I just couldn't, couldn't 
couldn't stop myself from spending money, right? So, yeah, so that's, that's me, your son. A little bit crazy one, but yeah, I'm still here. I haven't been hit in the face by this comeback because I look too girly for him, which is nice. And yeah, even the security guy who was uh, kind of transphobic, um, like at the end he was kind of nice and he was actually nice. <laughs> so yeah, everything good that ends good, right? <laughs>